Suzanne Byrne for RT10 here at Crow Park in Dublin where Garth Brooks has just announced two very special gigs for this July. He's calling them his comeback gigs and we're about to meet the legend himself. I promise you, if you'll wait for me. I'll be back. Mr. Garth Brooks, thank you so much for joining us today in RT10. It's an honour, thank you. We really appreciate it. Um, you. You're here in Ireland, in Dublin, to announce a special comeback gig. Why did you choose Ireland for that? Uh, I think we wanted, um, you know, it was Bob Doyle, the manager, that said, if we're going to show ourselves to people again, I sure would like the venue to be perfect and, and you know, for everything to be kind of like it was, you know, to uh, show them that uh, no time has passed. And I said, well, if you want a place like that, I would think it would have to be Crow Park, and the difference is it was under construction last time we were here, so now hopefully uh, if we get our way, there'll be twice as many people here, which would make it twice as much fun. Do you realize the frenzy that you've caused by announcing this gig here and how much <laughs> people really wanted this to happen? That's very sweet. Uh, um, you know, we'll, we'll see when the tickets go on sale, but uh, right now everybody's been very, very sweet and it, it feels like no time has passed at all. Tell me a bit about the gig. What can the fans expect when they come this time around? Well, I'm hoping that the ones that come here that didn't see 97 have these visions in their head of what it actually looked like from all the stories. And then my job is to better that. You know, our job is to come out here and have more fun. Uh, be more loud, be more everything. Just, just have fun with it. And uh, this is the place that you can do that with. So it's kind of an interesting position to be in when you sit here and all you can think about is the past and all you can think about is the future at the same time. That's, that's kind of overwhelming for me right now. I'm starting, yeah, I'm starting to try and catch up, but when I first got here, it was a little tough. Garth Brooks married fellow country music star Trisha Yearwood in 2005, and as well as being his wife, she's appeared on several of his albums. But will she be joining him on stage at Crow Park? I don't know about on stage, but she'll be here. We, you know, when we got together, we both had been married before, and we both had left our spouses at home when we were out touring. And we said, why are we getting married to be apart? So she really cut back on her touring, and so we go everywhere together. We're waiting here all day for him to come out, and they were telling us he wasn't coming out, then they were telling us he was coming out, so eventually the wait paid off and he came out, and it was great to see him, and we'd never be as close to him again. So we got to meet him, and Jay's, he was a gentleman, he stood and talked, and he had plenty of time to take pictures with him and everything, so. When he came out, like, he was just an absolute gentleman, and started signing and stuff and getting pictures and everything, and he was like, all the babies come up first, so they're not cold. He's a gent, hey, I swear to God. And, um, he was just walking his way through everybody and I was a shake and wreck at the door just with me book like a me full oh I can't wait to meet him and then when I did see him then crumbled but um, they just just he was going back in I got him and he gave me a hug and signed and left me with God bless message and give me a big hug again in the picture. You've just been downstairs and you've met some of your fans that have been waiting for you Sweet. all day. What do they say to you? What do fans say to you when they meet you? Well the, the girl that killed me because <clears throat> everyone always says welcome to Ireland Garth. And she looked at me and she said, welcome home. I was like, oh my God, I love this place. So uh, it was good. I'm, I'm ready for a lot of that. We're going to sleep out for tickets next week. My friends from Dublin are coming up because it's easier to get them near where I live. And it'll be sold out immediately because Garth is like a god down here. People will really be so glad to see him back. To see him live would be like, I'd always say like, oh, I'd love to meet him, I'd love to meet him, he'd be unbelievable. I'm after meeting him, and now the thoughts of actually seeing him singing them songs, and like, people would be like, oh, what's your favourite song? You can't have a favourite one with him. Like, there's th the thunder rolls, and then you've like, more than a memory, two completely different types of ones, you love them, do you know what I mean? Papa loves Mama, the whole place would be going mad when Colin Baton Rouge comes on, it'd be unbelievable. It's just the thoughts of actually hearing him over the years, and listening to him, and listening to him, and now, in real life, the man is coming back, like, and... He showed today, he's come back with a bang, it's going to be unbelievable. Do you have one lasting memory from Crow Park the last time around in 97? Is there something that stands out for you? Well, yeah, I mean, there was a, I was trying to explain it to you all downstairs. There was this white film over everything, kind of like a haze. I thought it, it might have been the stuff that made the lights, you know, work some of that stuff. But it was something much deeper than that. And it was very, it was very, um, I don't know. It was almost like we were communicating without saying anything at all, if that's not too egotistical for me to say. But it was a, it was a beautiful feeling inside here. And I really, really want to taste that feeling again. 
when you look out into a crowd like such a massive crowd or an intimate crowd like my, you might have had in Las Vegas recently what is is there something that tells you right this gig is rocking you know the, the, the people are loving this is there is there a point in the show or a song or, or is there anything that you see out there you kind of go yes I've got this yeah I think so and I think more of a feeling than anything <clears throat> but uh, so you have people that are looking right at you and you have people that are watching Jimmy Madden the fiddle player it's all the look on their faces you have people that are watching the screens but the best thing is when you see that person and they they got their eyes closed, they could be anywhere on the planet and they are singing at the top of their lungs, don't care how they sound, okay, they're just having the greatest time, that's when you know you're doing what you're down here to do. Um, my final question for you, you've sold over 128 million al albums, you've won every accolade that the music industry can, can give out. I mean, is there anything else that you want to achieve? Like, is there, is there something that, that hasn't happened for you yet? Are you just kind of, I'm doing this for fun now, I'm doing this because I enjoy it? Well, I've always done it for fun, always done it for you, enjoy it. If you take care of the music, every, all that other stuff's going to take care of itself. Now, selfishly, what I really want, more of it, just more of it. I love it. I could do this gig. I could do this gig till I'm 100 if, if you know, if it wouldn't be the wheelchair and walker tour kind of thing. But I, I just love playing music. Garth Will Rock Pro Park on the 25th and 26th of July. Tickets priced 65.45. Go on sale at 9 a.m. on Thursday, January 30th from usual outlets. There's sure to be a stampede, so make sure you have your cowboy boots at the ready. Yeehaw! No. No.